In this lesson, we're going to learn how to convert from radians to degrees or from degrees to radians. Guys, it's so easy. Trust me. Um, check this out. If, um, if you want to go from radians, okay, let's, let's just do this. So if we go from radians to degrees, then all you do is just multiply by 180 over pi. And then if you want to go from degrees to radians, just multiply by pi over 180. That's it. So let's go practice a couple of examples just so you can check it all out. So here we have radians, right? And they want us to convert it to degrees. So if you want to go from radians to degrees, then you just multiply by 180 over pi. If you want to go from degrees to radians, you just multiply by pi over 180. So we want to go from radians to degrees, so we're just going to multiply this by 180 over pi. Now check this out. Because we're multiplying, um, you can cross cancel. So you could cancel that, and you could cancel that, and then you're left with 3 multiplied by 180 over 4. Now, depending on what your teacher wants, you could either do this manually, you could just type it on the calculator, um, but at the end of the day, this is going to give you 135 degrees. Okay, let's do some more. So if you want to go from radians to degrees, once again, you just multiply by 180 over pi, uh, cancel the pi's out, do what you've got to do, but it should be um, 2 multiplied by 180, over 7, and that's going to be 51.43 degrees. Here, once again, going from radians to degrees, multiply by 180 over pi, pi's cancel, um, multiply, so at the top you'd have 4 multiplied by 180. Yes, you can also do some cancelling here if you wanted to, there are ways of doing it, but this should give you 240 degrees. To go from degrees to radians, well now you just use this. So you're just going to multiply by pi over 180. Now you could cancel and try to divide these numbers. Um, like for example, the number 30 goes into year 7 times, goes into year 6 times, and so you should end up with 7 pi over 6. Here we're going to do the same thing. So you're going to multiply by pi over 180. Um, you could find a number, I think the biggest number is 30, 30 goes into, oh no, 60 probably, hey, it doesn't really matter, you could just say 300 divided by 180, but the number um, 60 goes into year 5 times, and the number 60 goes into year 3 times, so this would be 5 pi over 3. And then lastly, here we have 400 degrees, so you multiply by pi over 180, um, the biggest number that can go into both of these is probably 20. Uh, we might, there might be a bigger number, to be honest. Um, it doesn't really matter, because check this, let's say it is 20, then that goes into this one 20 times, and it goes into this one 9 times. Okay, and then you'd be end up with 20 pi over 9, and then if these could simplify further, then you could do that, but this isn't really, this can't simplify further, and so that is the answer.